Hello friends, welcome to HTML tutorial series. I double click on default.html page. I right click on default.html page open with the notepad. In the previous tutorial we understood how we can create radio buttons and how we can group radio buttons to get the proper behavior. We also understood how we can create password fields, how we can create text boxes. In this tutorial I am going to discuss HTML checkboxes or checkbox control. How we create checkboxes? When we need to create checkboxes? Answer to the second question. When we need to create checkboxes? If we want to get more than one values or list of values or if we want to allow users to make more than one selections then we create checkboxes. For example, in an application form if we want to get list of software skills of an applicant like C, C++, Java, C Sharp. There will be many options, right? And one applicant might know C, C++, Java, other might know HTML, CSS, JavaScript or some other applicant might know C++, CSS, JavaScript. In that situation to get list of skills and allow user to make more than one selections, we create checkboxes. Let's take one more example. If we want to get hobbies of an applicant like playing cricket, listening to music, drawing, there will be many options again. One applicant might be having a hobby of playing cricket and other may be having listening to music and drawing or one more person or applicant might have a hobby of playing cricket, listening to music as well as drawing. To get list of hobbies or allow the applicant to select more than one hobbies, in that situation we are going to create checkboxes. Now we are going to get answer to the first question that is how we create checkboxes. Let's see practically. Here I am going to put break tag br then I use paragraph then I say here software skills skills closing paragraph control s I go to browser and say refresh you can see that software skills got displayed. I put colon here. Then to create a checkbox also we are going to use input tag input input type the value we are going to give is chekbox checkbox forward slash greater than file save go to browser refresh. You can see that browser is displaying a checkbox and also you can see I should tell for what this checkbox is meant. Just in front of this I am going to put a text so that user can identify or understand this checkbox is meant for something, some specific thing like I am going to say here C. File, save, go to browser, refresh. You can see that we have C text displayed just beside the checkbox. Then I have to give name. I can give a name also later. Similarly I want one more checkbox. To get one more checkbox I am going to copy this then I paste it then I say here C++ file save go to browser refresh you can see that one more checkbox got displayed I can add more checkboxes let's take I say here checkbox for Java file save go to browser refresh C C++ Java three checkboxes got displayed properly. Next thing I need to give a name properly. To give a name I am going to use the name attribute and I give a value as chk that indicates checkbox. chk I am using prefix. Then I say here soft skills. Actually I can write here software skills that will give more meaning. Then I hit enter. I copy this name and paste it here. Similarly, I hit enter. I give the name to this also same. You can see here I grouped all the checkboxes by giving same value to the name attribute in all the checkboxes. File, save, go to browser, refresh. Okay. You can see when I load the browser, if I refresh, all checkboxes are deselected. They are not checked. I can put by default one checkbox is checked by using the attribute called as checked. 
here I'm going to say CHE CKED checked attribute I'm using file save go to browser and say refresh you can see that C checkbox is now checked by default I have checked this checkbox similarly I can give value to each checkbox for this I am going to use the value C for this I am going to give value as CPP for this I am going to give VALUE value as J J for Java you can see that we have given different values file save go to browser refresh no problem when I access this checkbox group this name CHK software skills if C checkbox is selected C++ checkbox is selected then in the code I am going to get array of values separated by comma I will get C comma CPP if a person selected Java checkbox and C++ checkbox when I access CHK software skills in JavaScript code or some other code then I will get array of CPP and Java that is I am going to get CPP comma J return in the code I can access these controls very easily by using the name or I can use the ID also hope you guys have understood how we can create checkboxes and also you can see that I can select or deselect the checkbox I can select more than one checkboxes or I can check more than one checkboxes right this is how the checkboxes behave guys for this tutorial this much is enough guys in the next tutorial we get more information on HTML for more benefits please subscribe like comment and share see you in the next tutorial keep learning keep coding keep sharing